You will learn how to dual boot your Hackintosh and Linux all together. I will be using Mac OS Sonoma 14.4.1 and Fedora 39 Linux XFCE. This is a continuation of my previous new guide on installing Hackintosh. If you want to install Linux alongside with your Hackintosh, this guide is for you. On your Hackintosh, open the disk utility. We will make a partition dedicated to the Fedora Linux. Click the partition button above. Click the free space disk, then click the minus button. Now, click the plus button. Click add partition. You can set your preferred size of each partition. For me, I will leave half of the size. While the new partition is selected, change the format to MS-DOS FAT. Click apply, then continue, and let it finish. Close Disk Utility. On the DistroWatch website, you can select any Linux variant that you can choose from. I will choose Fedora on this case. On Linux, there are many desktop environments that you can choose from. I will use the XFC. This is good for low specs computer and uses less RAM on your computer. I will head over to Fedora's website and locate the XFC version of it. Follow along on the video. Once done downloading the Fedora ISO file, copy it into your Ventoy USB flash drive. You will also need to configure your config.p list. I made this guide on how to do it, watch it first before continuing on this tutorial. Eject the USB flash drive, and let's go to your target machine that will be used on dual booting. Insert the USB flash drive, and let's power it on. Then enter the BIOS of the computer. From the BIOS we need to set the boot option into our USB flash drive. Select the first boot and choose the USB flash drive. Exit the BIOS and save the changes, it will reboot. And proceed to the Ventoe boot menu. Look for the Fedora 39 ISO and press enter twice. Select start Fedora 39 and press enter. Open the install to disk icon on your desktop to proceed on the installation. Select your language then continue. Click the installation destination. The local disk of your computer is automatically selected. Click the custom button, then click done above. Click the arrow to show the partitions. From here, I have SDA2, which is the Hackintosh drive with APFS, and SDA3, that is FAT32. SDA3 is the target partition that we will use to install Fedora Linux. Above it, change the partition scheme to standard. While SDA3 is selected, go down and click the minus button to delete that partition. Click the plus button to add a partition. Set the mount point to EFI boot, then the size is 300.
Click the plus button again to create another partition. Set the mount point to swap. Then the size is for 1192 megabytes. You can choose how many swap file you want to allocate as shown on this table. Click the plus button again to add another partition, select the mount point to forward slash, then leave the desired capacity. This will use the available remaining free space. To recap, here is the partitions that we manually made. Click done above. Click Accept Changes. Click Root Account option. Leave the default settings. Click Done. Click the User Creation option and provide the details. Click Done. Click the Begin Installation button. This will now proceed to install on your drive. Have some coffee. Once done, click Finish Installation and let's reboot. Let's go into the BIOS settings of the computer. I will press F2. Yours may be different. Head over to Boot option under the Priority portion. We will set the OpenCore bootloader as the first one on the list. Your BIOS may be different from mine. You need to look for it. Exit your BIOS and save the changes when everything is set and done, you should boot like this. Now let's try to boot into Fedora 39. Alright, everything seems okay, let's reboot. Now let's boot into the Hackintosh. That's about it on this video, see you on the next one, click the one on your screen.